So, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another video. Now, this isn't the main video. Uh, the main video was recorded on Sunday, and uh, it was all, you know, set up, and it was all edited, uh, ready for Monday. Uh, but some problems came up, and I couldn't release the video. Um, it, it was problems out of my control. Uh, I mean, the video was all ready, but I had to take it down temporarily. Um... Uh, because of a comment I made in the first episode. Uh, people might have noticed that the first episode had been taken down. That should be back up like this week, hopefully sometime. But this is episode two. Uh, I had to re-edit the video as well. Uh, hence why I'm doing this uh, video at the start. Uh, just to explain things. So I have learned that you know some things I say on the internet, not everyone will get in the same way. I mean, a lot of you who subscribe to me, actually, I think everyone who subscribes to me uh, would know that I am a very sarcastic person. I mean, anything I say is a joke. Uh, you know, nothing I say is serious uh, because I mean, I I am a joke. I mean, my life's a joke. So some people might have seen the uh, arguments on Twitter uh, that I've recently had and some other YouTubers and uh, people have been getting involved in as well. Uh, and uh, they were quite annoyed by a comment I made in the first video to make it 3-3 with the last kick of the game. So that was full time straight after that. So we drew 3-3. Which is very disappointing considering we won 4-0 last week and it looked like we were actually going to walk this league. Now see what annoys me is that comment that I made which I've just shown. I said it sarcastically. I mean I got lobbed by a corner. How can I say we're going to win the league when I get lobbed by a corner? But apparently it came across badly and you know they complained to the league and there were some problems. Hence why episode 2 hasn't actually been released yet and it's been released today. A few days later than I actually anticipated. But episode 1 will be back up, uh, as I said, uh, in a few days' time, uh, hopefully. and in, uh, But we won't have a few of these for a while, because obviously I'm, I've got to let this cool down. Uh, so, But yeah, enjoy the video anyway, uh, and we'll just go into the main video, because I'm waffling on now. So, hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Sunday League Struggles with yourself. With, 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 with yourself, yeah. That makes sense. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Sunday League Struggles with myself Proudy. And uh, we're going to be looking at the most recent game that I've just played in. And it was actually just a few hours ago. Uh, and uh, well, if you follow me on Twitter, I already ruined the result. But if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, you're going to be looking through what happened today. So if you don't know who I am or you accidentally clicked the video... Uh, I am a goalkeeper for a Sunday League team. Uh, we play in Croydon at the moment. So if any of you play in South London, uh, you might play my team. And I, I do I do pictures, but £10 a pop. Oh, graphs of £5 as well. So in the previous episode, that was our second game of the season. And it went pretty badly. I got lobbed by a corner and we drew 3-3. But I did ask for 75 likes on the last episode. And I want to thank you a lot for the uh, amount of likes you gave it as well. I mean, we nearly got double the target, which I uh, aimed for. And uh, I said if we got that amount of likes, then, you know, we'll do an episode 2. And we did get an episode 2. And this is it. And we are playing probably the biggest rivals in our division. So the reason that they are our rivals is not because they are close to us. It's not because we played a lot of games against them over the years. It's because they chatted shit about us on Twitter. So they tweeted the league, which has its own Twitter account, saying that, you know, why are we in this division? Like, we should be maybe higher than that. Uh, and the league, like, we're just telling them to stop chatting shit over Twitter. I mean, I, I know... I know a lot about that. But let's get right into the footage. Uh, so I did sort it out this week. So we have a tripod. So there won't be any like, you know, film in the grass. Will there, Jake? Yeah, you know the omens aren't good for a goalkeeper when you get lobbed in the wall up. I mean, that was by my centre back as well. Yeah, so I might have just noticed that someone actually pressed record on the camera and wasn't actually following the action for the first five or six minutes. So it's just the video camera on me. It wasn't me who did that. I don't know who did that. I told someone to video the game. And so far, all I've got is the video camera on me. I mean, I didn't know this was player cam. So the first chance of the game fell to us. Uh, it came to Julian, actually, from a Dudley pass. Uh, Dudley was the player who made those two assists last week. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it went straight at the keeper. Oh, well, the keeper made a decent save, but, you know, I'm not all for bigging up goalkeepers, am I? Other than myself. Yeah, this this series is going to be a pain to record this year because uh, it seems like any angle that I try to get a cameraman to record, someone will block him. This time, my manager does it. I mean, um, can't really see half the action. Why does Siri keep turning off? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I actually think this was a penalty. I mean, the player is coming so late when uh, Julian passed the ball across the goal. 
and he's completely wiped him out and the referee just said uh, that he went for the ball. Now, I didn't see that ball move. But yeah, the game was a bit pedestrian for a lot of the time. Like, a lot of the battles were being made in midfield and the purple team actually did get one chance and goal. Uh, a long thrown into the box ended up dropping to their striker who hit it about five miles over the bar. I mean, I, I was never troubled by us. I would have saved it anyway. Yeah, for those who are doubting my ability to start quick counter attacks when, uh, you know, the other team are pressing, uh, I mean, watch this footage. I mean, you might as well call me Victor Valdez. I, the, the Barcelona one, not the Man United or Middlesbrough one. See, I'm sure Dudley won't actually mind me saying this. I mean, he always goes on about my goal kicks, and I never seem to have something against him that I could use. Other than his shooting, I mean, it's... You know, we we might be here for quite a few episodes to see him actually score a goal. So yeah, that brought the first half to a close, and uh, we were drawing nil nil. I mean, we weren't playing too badly, but I mean, the team that we were playing were playing a really high pressing game. Uh, you know, putting us under pressure a lot of the time, uh, and you know, it, you know, it, our second half it all changed in my opinion. Well, of course it did. Like, I was the one playing the game. Also, for any goalkeepers out there who might be watching this series and thinking of getting tips on how to become better, uh, I've only got one for you because I'm probably not that much. I'm probably not even better than you anyway. But invest in finger tape. It actually does save my fingers from breaking because I need my fingers to edit like and type and um, other other personal activities as well. So yeah, we move on to the second half and uh, we are playing against the wind this time, but we are also playing against the sun. N not newspaper, I mean the, the thing in the sky. I mean, everyone plays against the sun. Because the sun is a... Yeah, we're not going to get onto that. So, just like last week where we shot straight from kickoff, we decided to employ a different tactic and shoot even higher. It didn't trouble the keeper this time, but I'm sure it will sometime later this season. But we did get a chance five minutes into the second half, and uh, we put a cross into the box of Sean's left foot, which is, should be... Should be... And the ball went across uh, the box, and their defence went to sleep completely. Uh, Lee managed to get a shot away. The keeper pulled off a, probably a good save as well. Uh, but then Julian was there at the second attempt to stab it home. And it gave us a 1-0 lead, which, I mean, we probably needed, seeing as uh, they looked like the team that could have broken the deadlock. Especially with me in goal as well. And I think we're actually going to be moving on to what is the goal of the game. And perhaps even goal of the season, well, so far. I mean, uh, they got the throw in, it was headed back across, and it managed to find its way to Lee. And just inside the box, he managed to hit a volley right into the roof of the net. I mean, for a player who was actually playing as a fill-in striker, I don't even know if he plays as a striker, but as a fill-in striker, I mean, that is probably one of the best finishes you'll ever see in this series. Other than the ones that go in against me, obviously, but, you know, we, we don't count those. So that actually made it 2-0, only 10 minutes into the second half, and you could see that his team were actually starting to tire as well. I mean, we were on top of them. And the fact is, they had six subs and we only had two. We had two substitutions, and yet we were still fitter than they were. We then had another chance only a few seconds after that goal from Lee as well. And Matty actually ran through and managed to put it past the keeper. Unfortunately, it was inches past the post. I mean, you know, hopefully we actually see him actually score a goal on camera this time. I mean, after last week. No pass it. Yeah! Oh, we're in, huh? Yeah, the less said about that video, the bell. Yeah, we soon made it 3-0. And, I mean, it's even more comical defending from this team. And uh, they were bigging themselves up. And then they defend like this. And that was our right back who scored as well. I mean... And the other team didn't defend that very well. Nothing against you, Sean. But, I mean, this team were utterly dreadful. And so we're not actually going to win the league because I don't want to sound overconfident, but at least we are top. So, a few of you may be also wondering, like, why am I not showing too much of myself? I mean, this is my channel and maybe I should be showing a bit more of myself. The ball's going nowhere near me. I mean, literally, every time the ball comes to my defence, they would just get it up to the other end of the pitch and I was just there to clean it up if it went over their head. I think we were playing against the wind, so my goal kicks aren't that much better than they were last week, but they were still utterly crap. I mean, look at that ball control by myself. I mean, I'm even time-wasting as well at 3-0. I could become a professional goalkeeper, really. I mean, if West Ham are looking for a new goalkeeper to replace Adrian because he's a bit crap at the moment, I'm your man. Although, I, I want 200 grand a week. Yeah, so I haven't actually dropped the ball yet this season. Until now. It wasn't really my fault. I mean, the ball was so high in the air. I was like, I was never going to catch that first time unless I was a professional goalkeeper. But, yet again, like, we hit him on the counter only a few seconds later from that. And uh, we ended up making it 4-0. And Curtis slotting home after the goalkeeper couldn't stretch far enough to deflect the ball anywhere else other than to Curtis. I mean, 4-0 against this team is...
It's not bad. So what would the Sunday league game be without a fight uh, by a player who is clearly frustrated by the fact that his team are losing 4-0 uh, and he started having a go at our filling left back and uh, I mean the resulting scenes ensued. I mean there's kids on the other pitch. I mean we shouldn't really be seeing this on a football pitch shall we? I mean he was still having a go. I mean this was about 15 minutes later as well. You're still having a go like you know shoving you know shoving. And I mean he was a pretty nice guy but he let his frustration get the best of him but I'm sure he's a good player. You know I I, I didn't say that directly to your face so you don't have to worry. But yeah, that did actually bring to the end of the game. We won 4-0, uh, so that's our second 4-0 win at home this season, um, out of two games as well. Uh, and we actually have a cup game next week against a team from Kent. Uh, I mean, they're not that close to us. So, And we're playing at home, thank God for that. Because there's nothing worse than a Sunday morning, a 10.30 kickoff, and you have to travel 40 miles to get to the ground. I mean, I had to do that a lot when I was 16. Obviously, my, my dad drives me. I, I, I don't drive or get a bus. I mean, I, I'm pretty VIP. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, uh, make sure you give it a like. Uh, we'll aim for 75 again because everyone knows the first episode of every new series does pretty well. And then the second episode goes a bit, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that noise was. But yeah, if you could drop a like, uh, subscribe also if you're new and uh, you like my style of commentating. Not many people do. Uh, I mean, I do it anyway, but people still hate it. And hopefully next week, uh, I can keep another clean sheet. Or make a mistake uh, for your view and pleasure. Like a